Morning! This breakfast couldn't have been more perfect. Yes! I finally scored a sandwich with old Dutch cheese. Yes, 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 yes. Hurrah! Hello! It's been a while, so I'm just having lunch with leftovers from yesterday's dinner and talking to my sweet brother. Now, let's go and see someone special at a special location. Before I run out the door, let me just quickly show you what I'm wearing. So this is a vintage dress, a really old one. I really like it. And this is also a vintage belt. Uh, below I have like Primark booties. This is my beloved uh, cardigan from H&M. And this is a coat I bought in Taiwan and I've worn it very very much in korea so it's my korea memory that's why i also bought it i always buy souvenirs i can still keep using at home and this is a scarf i bought in rishikesh and you haven't seen it yet but it's it, it shouldn't be even called a scarf it's a blanket because it's huge <laughs> now let's go as all my fellow dutchies probably already know we love to bike but traveling so much made me appreciate walking even more so i am walking to the location where i'm meeting my friend and i just wanted to show you around in amsterdam because um, i live in a part where you probably won't visit if you don't live here so see this already looks so beautiful so peaceful it's very different than the than the center this is one of the best sushi restaurants in amsterdam um the red sun they have incredibly good sushi. Unfortunately, it's also a little bit pricey. Though I would definitely say it's value for money because the sushi is so good. Wow, I almost walked past him. Look at this cutie, just chilling here. Is he yours? No, no? he's just chilling here. <laughs> Aw, can I pet you? Oh, you're shivering, it's cold. We are now at the biggest nightmare roundabout for every person learning how to drive. So here is a new driver. This is someone who is uh, in a learning car. You can see the L on, on top. So the biggest nightmare of this roundabout is that there are no traffic lights. So over here, you can hit a pedestrian. Over there, you can hit, that's a bike lane. So you can hit someone on a bike. Then we have like the regular cars, we have the scooters, and then we have the trams and the buses coming that way. So it's nothing compared to Delhi, but I know everybody who learns how to drive in Amsterdam, they are so afraid of this roundabout. It's famous. It's uh, at the Amstelveenseweg. So this is the Amstelveenseweg. Over there is Vondelpark. I will show you in a minute. And over there is the roundabout we just came from. There are a lot of restaurants in the street. I can highly recommend you to visit if you want to eat a good meal. And one restaurant in particular is Le Incontro. The gate to Fondel Park, the most famous park in Amsterdam. I have to say it's nice, but there are better places and prettier parks in Amsterdam. So this was a small part of Amsterdam Old South, which, which is one of the most posh neighborhoods to live in in Amsterdam. I don't live there, I live nearby, but it's nice to see and you would regularly not visit that place if you are just a tourist in the city or just here for a day. We are now crossing over to Amsterdam West, also not very popular with tourists or people who just come to Amsterdam for a day. West used to have a bad reputation, but the city council like uh, did some renovations and now I think it's a really cool neighborhood. So we are now at Suriname Plank. Over there is Cafe Oslo, which is a quite nice cafe. Over here we have the Overtone, which is also quite a famous street in Amsterdam. Lots of restaurants, easy to reach from Leise Plank. So if you're maybe in town for a day or two or three and you're tired of the city center, just go to Overdome. They have like really cool restaurants, like Arabic restaurants and one, uh, I don't know where, what is this? Like um, African restaurants and stuff like that. Things you won't find in the center. This is where we're going. It's a cat cafe in Amsterdam. Yeah, I visited the cat cafe in Korea. And it was so much fun and now we're going to cuddle with cats. Look at her! And she scored the fat cat. That's like the prime cat you should score. Remember what I said about 
animals and good energy, this cat was just walking around and immediately jumped on Avisa's lap when she sat down. Well, she so, knew you were going, going to get a no, vlog no, camera, no, camera. No, this is your pretty positive pink rainbow energy <laughs> attracting yeah. the fat Aww. cat. Hello, beautiful. Why is he fat? My cat is <laughs> yes, your cat is is more fat. She has a cat and it's like Garfield. Garfield fat, right? Yeah, and, and, and his name is Pedro. And he's black. <laughs> the Spanish and the first fat comment cat. everyone makes is Oh my god, he's so fat. <laughs> He had feelings, but he would have a self-esteem Yeah. Honestly, look how cute this cafe is. It's like a living room, but a really cozy living room. I so love it. Look at this. Look at the desk. I love big fat cats. I know it's really not good for the health of the cats, but fat cats, I don't know. They have my heart. <laughs> Wait a minute. And in your face. <laughs> Remix. Look at all the cute Christmas decorations. Oh my gosh. Someone is running for the tram. Also, this is not a street light. It's the moon. Can you see it? Like, let me just try to zoom in. It's insane. It's the moon. Wow, this is really beautiful. Avisa seriously is the most humble person I know. It's always such a pleasure and such good vibes to hang out with her and uh, it always makes me so inspired. She was also literally, it's kind of hard for me to say literally. Also, you should never ask me to say rural. <laughs> it's like a nightmare. Okay, anyways, she was literally the only person in the place, in the cat cafe, who had a kitty in her lap. If that doesn't scream like good vibes, good energy, I don't know what does. So that was really nice. Moving on to food. Okay, so today in Amsterdam Random Chef, we have rice, brown rice with peas and also a chickpea curry with some spinach. Look at it, it's only a quarter of the burger. I am so full, but I have to keep eating because it's, it's so delicious! Still, nevertheless, I'm gonna eat them. 